Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John C4 here, bringing you guys a classic, and I think you guys know what it is. It is Call of Duty World at War, a game that I rarely even played, and I wish I played when it was hyped, and a lot of people were in it, because people were coming from Call of Duty 4, I think. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you can add this game to my list of the Call of Duty series that I rarely even played, and it's right next to Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. I mean, I literally missed the whole damn hype about the Call of Duty series, literally. And um, the reason why is because I wasn't into FPSs. Like, I think you guys know this story already, but I'm going to tell it again. Um, during this time when Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, and World at War, um, during that time, I was into Madden. I was into sports games. I wasn't into FPSs at all. Like, if I, if I were to look into an FPS game, I would be like, nah, it fucking sucks. I would literally say that, like... FPS games suck ass. And I wasn't into it at all like back in the day, back in the PS2 days. I was actually into third person shooter games. Third person. Because it looked pretty good looking at it looked pretty cool looking at your character and shooting at the same time. And you can actually look at your weapon when it's customized and all that stuff. So yeah. Um I wasn't into FPS at all. And I wouldn't even bother pick up one at all. <laughs> so um it it wasn't until that time when I was actually uh, playing Black Ops 1 and I figured out that was actually good So yeah, because it only it only came out to one game It only came down to one game my first game ever into the Black Ops 1 game And I went like around 28 and I don't know like 13 and 10 and, and my brother saw me and I was, he was like You know, I think you should already do FPS because you got them. That's pretty good. And I was like, hmm You know, I think I should really should do FPS games So yeah, that's where it all changed so anyways, um, enough about story time. Let's talk about the gameplay. Um, I think I got a little bit desperate because I ended up switching from the Thompson over to a light machine gun and then from the light machine gun over to the sniper. And yes, I ended up doing some more kills with the sniper than with the Thompson and the light machine gun. Uh, the reason why I switched is because I was getting killed several times from short range and I was like, God damn it, screw this because I need more freaking moderations. I need more attachments. For these other guns, because if I don't have get those attachments, I'm never gonna do good. So I was like, screw that, you know. And also, I, w I was using the default weapons. So what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't have the weapons that I wanted. So yeah, I, that's why I ended up using the sniper. And I do end up getting like around seven kills, I think. And I ended up getting like around three kills in a row back to back. And uh, it was pretty cool though. And also another thing that I discovered, guys, is that the uh, World of War game and the Black Ops One game actually have the same weapon mechanics except for the pistols though. The pistols of World at War was actually better. Were actually better. But uh in Black Ops One they were actually worst. And uh from the sniper, if you shoot with a sniper and you had him right in front of your face, the enemy, like you had him clearly, even from long range, you had him clearly in front of your scope, you'll still miss. That was some fucking rare shit. <laughs> It, it does happen with both games. I re mean, I played Black Ops 1 full time, and yes, it does happen. And I played this game like for a little bit, and I was like, God damn it, it does have the same fucking mechanics from Black Ops 1. So I was like, God damn it. And, uh, but, but the only thing that really, they really changed from Black Ops 1 and uh, from World of War is that, um, you know, the sound effects. That's about it. It got a little bit deeper. That's it. The sounds got deeper, it got rougher, and that's about it. It got toned down though. That's where it actually gets toned down in the whole Call of Duty series. Because you know how the sound effects used to sound like back in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. They actually used to sound better and a lot more realistic. But if you go forward into Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and, you know, passing that line, the sound effects actually get more, you know, weaker, more toned down. I don't even know why the fuck they did that. Not for reals. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, yeah. I ended up getting like a lot of kills with Sniper. I really don't even complain at all. Actually, I think my final score in this game was uh, was like around 10 and 13. I don't really mind because this game's already done. I mean, I, really, I don't really need to prove myself or anything. I'm just messing around with a Sniper. And with a pistol. Which is actually pretty good. It's pretty goddamn accurate. Like, you see? I had him right in front of my face and he didn't die. If you would have done that in Black Ops 2, you would have actually gotten the kill. Actually, you can get a, a, a quick scope of kill like, like nothing in Black Ops 2. That's the truth. That's fact, guys. That's a freaking fact. Anybody can clear scope in Black Ops 2. So anyways, guys. Um, in the future, I'm thinking of putting up classic...
Call of Duty games on Thursdays only. I'm thinking about it though, because I had to drop uh, Grand Theft Auto V because of the lobbies thingy. You know, it was taking forever for matchmaking. So uh, I'm thinking right now that I maybe I should do like classic Call of Duty gameplays on Thursdays, every Thursday now from now on. I don't know. But please let me know. If it's a good idea, please let me know. If you guys want to see another Call of Duty classic game like Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Call of Duty 4, I have them all. I actually bought them all like for under 5 bucks, which is pretty good. I heard that Australia is actually, actually sending, sending it like for half a price, which is 30 bucks to 20 bucks. So, anyway, subscribe for more, guys. More Call of Duty gameplay coming up and more Battlefield 4 also if you guys like some Battlefield.